What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's my fan time. It's draft week. Sixers with the number one overall pick, of course. Please let them pick a good one. <laughs> Please. Uh, shout out to Cleveland. I know those fans have been long waiting, long suffering. You know, the Philly fans and Cleveland fans kind of share a bit of a, of, a, of, a, of a lineage together because our teams let us down a lot, too. <laughs> yes, we didn't go 50 years three championships, but 30 plus years was, was a long wait too between 83 and 08. So we certainly know, you know, and emphasize what it was for the fans of Cleveland who stuck behind their teams and were heart rips out of their chest time and time again, you know, and then finally they got, they got a huge win last night uh, with the Cavs winning the championship over the Warriors. And I would like to say that, you know, I go back with the Bulls, of course, too. And the 95, 96 Bulls are still the best team ever. <laughs> <laughs> the Warriors may be the best regular season team with the 73 wins, but they didn't get the chip. <laughs> the Bulls of 95-96 went 72-10 and 10 and won the championship and then won another two after that. Yeah, yeah, Golden State. Yeah, Oakland. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I just had to say that. But, yeah, I mean... Um, it was a great Game 7. I mean, it really made up for what was really a lackluster finals to that point. Every game was like a blowout, basically. And then finally we had a great game, and it was Game 7. So I guess best things come last, right? So epic Game 7. Cavs won by four. And, uh, you know, I'm happy for the fans of Cleveland. You know, again, because where I'm from here in the Philly area, we have to suffer too a lot of times. <laughs> You know, I miss some of the great days around here. I miss those those great Sixer teams back in the day. I miss the bu the bullies, of course, with the Flyers. You know, the Eagles haven't won a championship since 1960 before Super Bowls. I keep being reminded by that. And uh, <laughs> and, and the Phillies. I mean, hey, they gave us a, a great run back in the uh, from 07 to 2011. They won the World Series, got to another. But uh, and of course, what Villanova did this year was was great. But um, yeah, it's it, yeah. It, we we don't win a lot here, so I certainly you know I've emphasized for many years with the fans there in Cleveland, what they were going through, and I'm happy for them because you know all that weight kind of finally uh, paid off for sure. So, congrats to them, and the Penguins won the Stanley Cup. Let's get to the jerseys. <laughs> hey. The next team in Pennsylvania win the Stanley Cup has to come from Eastern Pennsylvania, okay? <laughs> Pittsburgh doesn't need another championship. <laughs> they can wait a little bit. Let, let us win one. <laughs> but anyhow, let's get right to the pickups. Plenty of stuff to show. I got eBay pickups. I got an Amazon pickup. And, of course, the Mitchell and S. Father's Day 2016 pickups. So let's get right into all of it in this nice little bundle package. So here we go. Um... What do I want to start with? My goodness, I have a lot of selections. It was June was a big month for Mighty Fan. And uh let's let, let's start with the eBay stuff. Okay, so uh, speaking of the champs, this is uh, one I got uh, a few weeks ago. Um I, I picked this off eBay. It's hard for me to find this. And I, get, I think one of the good things about, you know, teams in the finals is that sometimes they're hard to get jerseys show up on eBay. <laughs> so I picked up this Ron Harper um, Road Orange. And I got this some weeks ago, 86, 87. Uh, was the, the year, of course, the older Jack tag there. Cavs, double stitch, four, NBA logo. And, of course, Harper on an eight plate, uh, single stitched, and the number four double stitched on the back. Why not start with the champs, right? So this is the the older Cavaliers jersey, uh, Ron Harper, of course, who went on to have a really nice career, winning titles with the Bulls and the Lakers. Um, you know, so yeah, um, really glad to have this. Uh, trying to figure where to put this stuff. <laughs> All right, number two. All right, we're going to go with my, my hometown team here, the team that I hope matters at some point soon, the Sixers, okay? And this is a home white Kobe's dad jersey, Joe Jelly Bean Bryant. And this is a made in El Salvador, older run Mitchell and Ness. Love that old Sixers font in the front. 
they had like three different style jerseys back in those days with the 70s, and, and, and as far as the font goes, and this is one of them. So, double, uh, double stitch 23. The Sixers, of course, is single stitched. And it's got the stars and stripes going down the side. Love these jerseys. Of course, they went back to this look last year with the stars and stripes on the side. Bryant, no nameplate, single stitched, 23 double stitched. So, Joe Jellybean was one of the last of the holdouts for me for Sixer jerseys from this time period. I still want to get a World Be Free, and I'd love to get a Bobby Jones. Bobby Jones is one of the, like, last, for, like this era, you know, in the 80s. Bobby Jones. I know Mitchell and Ness made them years ago. They're almost impossible to find, so I might have to just get, like, a custom or something, but. Maybe, maybe I'll look up Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mac Wilson for that one, M. Diddy, for, for, for that Bobby Jones to be done. But anyhow, let's move on. Lots to get to. Another Sixers. This is a road blue. Uh, Chocolate Thunder, rest in peace, of course. Daryl Dawkins passed away last season. Last year, I should say. Um, or maybe even uh, early, either late last year or early this year. But um, we lost, of course, Moses Malone and Daryl Daw Dawkins and uh, uh, Harvey Pollock. To the Sixers family, of course. It was a tough year. And, of course, Dolph Shades, too, who started with the Syracuse Nationals. And, of course, the Sixers originally were the Syracuse Nationals before they became the Philadelphia 76ers. So it's been a tough year. It's been a tough year for Sixer Nation. But hopefully that number one overall pick will, will, will turn out to be a great player. And the good years can come back sooner or later. So, yeah, pretty much just like the other jerseys, the Stars and Stripes with a different font on the front, as you can see. Double stitch Sixers, 53. And, of course, the Dawkins single stitch, no nameplate, 53, double stitched on the back. This is an older run. I want to say, yep, this is another El Salvador run. There you go. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apologize in advance. I want to try to motor through some of these because I don't want you guys, like, hanging on for, like, an hour or something watching these pickups. I have a lot of things to show. I'm going to try to get through them uh, in a timely manner, so bear with me here. All right. Okay, so these are custom vintage jerseys. Uh, they're vintage jerseys that were customed into these players. They might not be exactly historically accurate, but they just look cool, and I really wanted to get them. So the first one here is the kid, the alternate teal Seattle Mariners. This is a vintage um, Russell Diamond Collection jersey that was custom into a Griffey. You can see the uh, logo, uh, Mariners logo on the one side. And it's got the Jackie Robinson 50th on the other. Now, they, I, I found out later from some of the guys in the group that the Mariners didn't wear this jersey with this patch. But, you know, I'm a sucker for extras. I just don't care. I love the patch on it. I think it just pops and stands out. You know, it might not be historically accurate, but it, it still looks pretty good on it. Uh, the Griffey, double stitch, 24. There is no nameplate, and that's the other issue with this. I found out later that it was supposed to have a nameplate, but again, it's a Griffey, it's a teal Griffey. I've wanted one for such a long time. I can kind of live without the nameplate, and, and the patch just adds to it, even though it wasn't supposed to be on this jersey, but, you know, the details, right? But I still love this jersey. Um, still happy to have it in the collection. Um, jersey number four. <laughs> um, four... All right, so this is jersey number five. That was four. This is five. Um, another Mariners jersey from the 2001 season. So it's got the American League celebrated their anniversary right there. All-Star uh, logo patch. It was in Seattle that year. And Mariners, Edgar Martinez, who should be in the Hall of Famer. Great DH for many years. Now, I heard also the fonts a little incorrect on this. But, again, I just really like the jersey, um, you know. I guess it really takes someone who has the eye for it to know <laughs> if it's right or wrong, but it looks good to me, and I'm, I'm still happy to have it. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, this is a uh, slightly older, uh, there you go, Russell, and it was customized into a uh, 2001 Edgar Martinez. But, again, it's still a nice-looking jersey to me, so I'm happy to have it. Um Okay, motoring on. Uh, let's get to the other um, baseball pickup before the, uh, the the Father's Day sale pickup. So this was an Amazon pickup for me. 
um, Mitchell and Ness. I actually restocked this and I picked it up on Amazon. So it's Tampa Bay Devil Rays batting practice weight box. And there you see the logo on the sleeve. Turn around, you got the box on the nameplate, single stitched, 12 double stitched on the back. And I got you gotta love that Floridian color <laughs> rays going on in the front. Really nice. Always get these a size bigger, fellas. Uh, if, if you go after these batting practice jerseys for Mitchell and Ness, a lot of you may already know what I'm talking about, but they do run a little small. They're cut small. So I guess because they're batting practice, I really don't know. But uh, this is a 56, and I normally wear a 52. So I always try to get a 56 because it fits like a 52, you know. So you always want to go a size bigger with, with the batting practice ones. Um, yeah. This was an eBay pickup last week. Came in the mail. Phoenix Suns, 1969-1970, Connie Hawkins. Love this jersey. It, it's hard to find this one anymore. And I've never seen this in person. And this just absolutely blew me away when I, when I got it out of the package. Just the detail on this is just really nice. That Phoenix on the front, the 42. You turn around, and that font for the Hawkins is just insane. <laughs> and the 42 real close to it. I mean, that just screams, you know, 1970s era type jersey, 60s, 70s. Um, and the chalk tag, as I get it unfolded, there it is. 6970. Doesn't have his name, but it's a Connie Hawkins, Phoenix Suns. One of the graceful NBA players back in the day. Of course, you know. Gotta have my Eagles. Uh, shout out to EDP, <laughs> Philadelphia, um, E Rock, my buddy uh, Big Slim, of course. Uh, you know, holding it down, Eagles Nation, with yours truly. And there it is. One of the greats. Passed away way too soon. Great defensive tackle out of, out of the U, right? Jerome Brown. Of course, you guys might remember, and if you don't, I do have his Kelly Green uh, Authentic, and now I have his. Away, although sometimes they did wear this at home, uh, particularly earlier in the year, and whenever Dallas came to town, so Dallas had to wear their dark uniforms. <laughs> um, but to Jerome Brown, again, rest in peace for him. Everything's pressed on as it should be, names on a nameplate, 99. For those of you who don't know, the authentic Mitchell Ness ones, it's going to be pressed. The numbers are always going to be, for this era, Eagles jersey, they're always going to be pressed on there. And you definitely want to look out for that because there's so many fakes of this. But the line of fell shield on the front. The Eagles logo, the numbers, everything on this jersey besides for the nameplate, that little NFL shield and the jock tag is pressed on. Everything. So Eagles logo, big Eagles logo, the one I grew up with. <laughs> I grew up with these jerseys. Um, I kind of wish they would wear this as an alternate, particularly the Kelly Green. They, they should, but they don't listen to me. Well, if they watch Season of the Fan, <laughs> yes, this jersey will be making an appearance on uh, Season of the Fan at some point during this coming season. And I apologize to uh, Dennis Santos. Hope I'm saying the name correctly. I, did, I couldn't find my Brett Favre jersey, otherwise I'd be wearing it right now. <laughs> it's somewhere. I'll get it for some video. Don't, don't worry about that. Uh, what else do I have? Okay. Um, this I actually picked up at, like, it was a big month. This one I actually picked up a couple weeks ago at the Mitchell Ness store. I went and scouted. I was at a comic book convention. I went over to the Mitchell Ness store and I scouted around to see what was there for the Father's Day. <laughs> and this was in the clearance room, so I picked it up. Uh, Marcus Allen, 1994. Uh, Mitchell Ness, older run, Korea run. Really nice jersey right here. This is the, the, the home red. 75th season, of course, because it's from the 94th season, so it's at the 75th patch. And it's got the 35th anniversary for the Chiefs. Allen on a nameplate double stitched. Everything else is double stitched, of course. So this is kind of throwing it back to their old uh, Texans jerseys. Because you notice they don't have the, uh, the stripes on the, on the, uh, on the, on the uh, cuffs 
of the sleeves because when they were the, the Texans, they didn't have the, uh, when they were the Dallas Texans, I believe it was, they didn't have the uh, stripes. So in 94, they kind of threw back to those jerseys. So it's pretty cool. 1994. And uh, moving along. <laughs> so this was the first pickup of June. This was the first pickup of June, the inaugural pickup of June. And shout out to my to uh, one of my uh, fellow Jersey heads in the group on Facebook, Ron, hooked me up with this one. Um, Atlanta Falcons, uh, William Andrews. And this completes my red Falcons Mitchell and S jersey collection. <laughs> so I have all four of them now with Tuggle and uh, Dion, of course, the rookie Dion. We all remember that one. And um, my Grail of Grails back in the day. Uh, and, of course, last month I picked up that Markowski, and Ron had a uh, William Andrews, so I bought it off of him. And uh, really appreciate it because this is probably the hardest one to find. With all due respect to Dion, <laughs> this is probably the hardest one to find as far as the red Falcons jerseys go. For Mitchell and Ness. Um, but he was a great running back back in the day. This is a 1980, circa 1980 jersey. Very, it's exactly the same as the uh, Bartkowski, only it's Andrews and not Bartkowski. So lots of stuff going on. Everything's pressed on too, as it should be. Andrews 31. Really nice jersey. Hard to find. It's like basically you see this on eBay, it's like seeing an eclipse. <laughs> Just does not hit there very often. All right, so that's everything besides for the Father's Day sale pickups. Man, I mean, it was a big month. It was a big month, and as, a, as collectors know, some months are going to be big. Some months are not going to be so big. It just depends. This was a big month. I had so many deals on stuff. So let's get to the pickups of the Father's Day sale. And again, shout out to my buddies Mark Medora and Ken Clark. Met them up at the store on Saturday. We had a blast. Had a good time there. Um, you know, as always, just fun to be there for the sales. Let's get to the hat first. So I picked up, I picked up this, uh, I picked up this hat in the, uh, uh, clearance room. Uh, it's, uh, New York Jets snapback. It goes with my, uh, Cleco and my, uh, uh, Gastineau jerseys. So I wanted to pick up a, because I didn't have a Jets hat that quite went with them. I have one with like the older, you know, Namath era logos, but not quite that kind of 1980s, you know, logo. So I was glad to find that. He goes perfect with those two. And shout out again to Dennis. I think he's a Dennis Santos. I think he's a I think he's a Jets fan. I'm pretty sure. So there you go. There's your Jets represented. Um yeah. So got a little <laughs> carpet's like coming out in certain places. I'm tripping on. <laughs> so this one's actually a kind of a review jersey too, because it's not on their website as of yet. And it might be uh, soon, but it was in the store, something that I, I didn't see before. I know many years ago they made a uh, Rod Carew in this, but the problem is every time you see a Rod Carew in this on eBay, it's like a size 64. <laughs> For whatever reason, every time, it's a 64, every time. I'm like, really, there is no smaller one than a 64 that someone wants to sell? But anyhow, I digress from that. So I picked up this. Um, it's a Road Gray 1972 Harmon Killebrew, uh, Minnesota Twins jersey. You know I love Road Gray, and I wanted the Carew for a while, but I can't. The thing would be like a 10 on me. I can't wear that. So, okay, I'll, 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 I'll deal with this, and maybe someday I'll get the Carew. <laughs> of course, I say that now. That'll, the right tomorrow, like five size 52 show up on eBay, right? But anyhow, I'll sell for one. But anyhow, this is a uh, same style, although it's a newer run, so the older run's going to be better quality and everything we know. But... Anyhow, I'm still happy to have it. Twins, uh, double stitched on the front. Shout out to A-Rock. Shout out to Jake. I don't know what happened to Jake. Jake kind of disappeared from the, making the videos on YouTube. But I know if he's watching, I know he's a big Twins fan. And I know A-Rock's a Twins fan too. So there you go. Um, Twins logo on the, on the side. Old school logo right there. I mean, old school logo. Um, and it's got the three on the back, double stitched. Really nice jersey. It's got the uh, Killebrew, his name on one side, and then the jock tag on the other. So it's one of those that Mitchell Ness does for certain players. But overall, I think it's a solid jersey. Like I said, the crew is probably better quality and everything, but every time, 
every time. Okay, we're moving on. So, whew, it is hot. But anyhow, moving. I, I just thought it was. I just thought it was funny. Uh, I just thought it was funny because a couple weeks ago I find that Marcus Allen and I go there for the sale. I didn't see this a couple weeks ago, but I see Joe Montana <laughs> and, uh, on clearance. Of course, older run Korea. So I had to have it because I got uh, Allen and Red, so I wanted, my, I wanted a white one. And it, whether it was Thomas or Montana, and they had Montana, so happy with that. 94 away, Jersey, 75th. 35th for the Chiefs, and of course double stitch for everything else. And you notice again, there's no stripes on the cuffs. This is kind of throwing it back to the Dallas Texans days. Montana on a nameplate, double stitch, double stitch 19. Really clean jersey right here. Really like these. I never had a Chiefs Mitchell and S before the before this month. Now I have two. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's funny how things work out sometimes. And last but not least, my goodness, we finally made it to the end. Last but not least, I had to have this. I missed on this the first time they put these out, and I wasn't going to miss on it this time. Uh, so I got the Raptors shoot-around away, uh, away jacket, of course, to go with the jerseys. Um, there it is. Dino in the front with the ball. Got the Raptors alternate logo on the sleeve. Always like that logo. Just always takes me back to Jurassic Park when I see these. And I know that's their name outside when they sell it, when they're cheering on their Raptors is Jurassic Park, but Raptor on the back with the TR for Toronto Raptors. Love this jacket. I'm so happy Mitchell and has reissued this or got them back in stock. Really, really like these. Got the NBA logo on the front. Like that design going on in the front and back. So this definitely goes with Vince Carter. I have a... Uh, Come on, brain. I have a, <laughs> a swingman and, and Tracy McGrady, so we'll go with that, too. I have the white uh, Mitchell and Esper, the home white Tracy McGrady, which I actually wore on Saturday. But uh, I guess it could go with it, but really it, it goes with the road purple more than anything else. So I'll probably give this a wear with those from time to time. Shout to A-Rock again. I know he does the jacket, jersey, hat combo. Oh, 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 Mighty Fan can get it done, too. <laughs> I'm a little... Uh, I'm a little slow with the jackets, but uh, <laughs> jersey hat combos, though not today, it's too hot. I couldn't film this with a hat on. I'd, the hat would be like Niagara Falls right now. I, I'm a sweater by name. It just happens. <sighs> so anyhow, uh, that's going to do it. My goodness, 22 minutes of pickups. It was a big month. It was a big month for me, as you can see. eBay, Mitchell and Ness Father's Day sale, Amazon even... So many things going on. I probably am not looking at a big month in July. Just, you know, a few things. But, um, you know, as always, you know, I'm always on the lookout. So you just never know what could happen. So anyhow, shout-outs as always to all my subscribers, all my fellow Jersey heads out there, family, friends, fellow DeviantArt members, all the groups on Facebook. Hopefully the Sixers draft well on Thursday night. Whoever they get, number one, I just want it to work. I'm tired of the damn tanking seasons. <laughs> You know, time to put this thing together. Hopefully they do. Um, Cleveland fans, you stay classy. Okay, you celebrate, you celebrate right. You know, don't go burn the city down. <laughs> you have a good time, but you stay classy, Cleveland. <laughs> hey, Philly didn't, turn this, didn't burn the city down when the Phillies won, okay? Now, if the Eagles win the Super Bowl, I don't know what the heck we're going to do. But it... <laughs> But anyhow, that's going to do it for me as always. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video, which will probably be another uh, Jersey Vlog video. I have something coming out so in my mind for one, so probably before the end of the week I'll have that out, out on my channel. Be on the lookout for that. Thanks for bearing with me with all these pickups. There was a lot, but thanks for bearing with me through them. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, Mighty Fan saying peace. See you in the next one. All right, everyone, take care. Go Sixers. Bye.